he will be with us in one second. Lots to talk to him about Hello. today. Hey, Johnny. How's it going? Not bad. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good to see you. Nice to see you as well. How have you been getting on? I think it's, and I say, how are you? It's super important, especially with everything that's going on at the moment. So actually, you know, we mean it. We mean it. How are you? How are you getting on? I'm good. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, hi, mom. <laughs> hi. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm back in school now. Um, so that's good. Some social contact. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, of course, everything's like safe and stuff uh, in regard to that. But I'm okay. I'm good. Good to Hello. see you. <laughs> Hello from the UK. Hello from snowy Toronto. Do you have any snow? We actually, not in London, but up north in the UK we do. Oh, wow. Lucky Probably not as cold as it is in Toronto, though. Yeah, it's pretty bad today. <laughs> <laughs> Best to stay inside. Nice to meet you. You too. Johnny, some... <laughs> <laughs> I love how you're like, Mom, get off, get off. <laughs> Johnny, somehow, even though the entire world has been locked down, you've managed to stay busier than ever. Congratulations as well, first, on, um, well, lots of stuff to congratulate you on, but MTV EMA, again, Best Canadian Act. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was crazy. Killing it. And such good company as well. I mean, you're the successor to... Just a, a couple of casual names, Justin Bieber and Sean Mendes, if anyone's heard of them. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a that was a wild day when I when I found out. Oh, sorry, am I back? You just come back. Of... Okay. Um, yeah, that was a wild day when I found out. That was I was tripping. That was that's like the most exciting thing that happened all year. And it's a pretty, I mean, it is pretty exciting. And you're going to have to go for the hat trick next year, three in a row. But we'll see what happens. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I'm manifesting it into the, um, <laughs> Thank you. into happening. Thank you. And while some people, you know, most people have been stuck in quite bored, not really knowing what to do with themselves. You've managed to create an entire new EP. It's never really over. Yeah. Um... Yeah, the EPA, we, so we actually started before the lockdown, far before the lockdown. I think Adelaide was the first song that we made, and that was, yeah. like, that was almost, it's, like, nearing two years now. Like, like next spring, it'll be two years. Oh, really? Yeah, from when we started that song. Which is the newest, which is the kind of most recent one on there that, that was the last one that you finished? I think either flaws or bad news was. Uh, oh my god, my phone's buzzing. My bad. Uh, either <laughs> flaws or bad news was the uh, most recent one. How did you manage to? Because um, a lot of people struggled, didn't they? Kind of be managing to get the creative juices flowing and kind of find inspiration. What was? What were your kind of? What was your inspiration when you were writing these new tracks? Ah! Um, it, it was hard, honestly. It was a lot harder than usual to find inspiration for things. But um, I think the key is just trying to trying to dig deeper into into experiences that you already have. If you're not able to get, yeah, uh, you know what I mean. Like there's there's always an aspect of an event that you haven't looked at critically. So if you can do that, then boom, you have a whole new song. True. Yeah, I guess it kind of. I guess it kind of requires you to, like you say, look more closely at certain situations or... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Find a new way. I love it. It's such a good EP. It kind of feels like such a natural progression from Teenage Fever as well. It doesn't feel... It's not kind of too different, but it's also... It just feels like a, a really natural... Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that was the whole goal. It's like, to me, this album... or sorry, EP... Um, is uh, it's not transitional, but it's kind of transitional. Um, like this yeah. is meant to be. It's meant to be a bridge between uh, my my older stuff and uh, the rest of my career, if you know. What I yeah. Mean. So and who knows what that holds? You can I guess you yeah. don't even really know yourself why you're gonna go. It just happens. Yeah. It's an I'm evolution. Kind of, kind of develop an idea, but. Um, of course, yeah, that's, that's kind of up in the air. That's what I'm talking about a lot these days with, uh, like, my label and, like, development people and, and stuff like that. 
Nice. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 what's your favorite track at the moment? Because I guess it must change all the time. But what's your current favorite track on there? Current favorite track? Probably Adelaide. It's been Adelaide for a while. But um, yeah, either Adelaide or Bad News for me. I don't, yeah, they are brilliant. I like Flaws, personally. I think Flaws Thanks. is a great kind of message. Thank you. Love that Thanks. song. Everything Okay, maybe. It's kind of a sad song. Yeah, oh no. <laughs> no, I know, but I'm I'm here for that, you know. Win three, like, yeah, I'm here for that. <laughs> now, Johnny, last time you were in the UK, we came down to your show in Islington in London, and the reaction was crazy. It was, everyone was, there was such good energy. Have you kind of missed that human interaction with your with your fans and kind of getting that reaction back from them? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, there's no better feeling than like walking on stage and like ah, like everybody's screaming and stuff. But um, it's good because I'm able I'm able to do the virtual meet and greets, so there is yeah. still some interaction. Um, of course, it's not the exact same, but it's a pretty good substitute in the meantime. Yeah, exactly. Now I love this concept. It's such a I guess all kind of artists are having to find new ways to connect with their fans and stuff. But the um, it's never really over virtual tour is such a cool concept. So you're kind of, you are basically touring the world still. It's not a one-off gig, you're touring the world, but yeah, but from- But virtual, so- but virtually, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to make it feel as real as possible. So I rented out a venue that is actually the venue that I performed in when I, when I uh, did the show in Toronto last year. Um, so that was, it, it honestly, it was a challenge. We had to like get full lights and full band and full everything and still keep it safe. Uh, yeah. So it was a big challenge, like being holed up in there. Um, but we, we got the show. And uh, so now we are doing a world tour. And uh, yeah. I do like meet and greets and stuff every day. They sold out all, like in every city. But, mad, it's mad. Uh, yeah, there's no cap on the general admission. So if you guys just want to see the show, go check it out. Um, yeah, it's it's lots of fun. It's lots of fun. And you've said that Adelaide and Bad News are your current favourites. What are your favourites? And this can include like old tracks, Teenage Fever songs, even before that. What are your favourites to perform at the moment? Because I, I have actually seen some clips from your other shows that people have may or may not have put online. And um, you've kind of switched up some of the tracks this time, haven't you? Yeah, so we've switched up the order, um, the arrangements, and uh, yeah, I'd say, I'd say, that, like, I wanted there to be, like, some semblance of the old set, but I didn't want people to feel like, okay, I'm just watching the same show that I watched last year. <laughs> you know, this, like, this is stupid. So I wanted, I wanted to switch it up enough, um, but as for uh, all of the songs, which one's my favorite? Probably Last Summer um, yeah. is my only Classic. other favorite. And everybody wants you. It's honestly, it's hard to say. Um, Adelaide, I'm still a little bit uncomfortable performing uh, because it's so new. Like, for example, like waste my time. I've performed like a million times, so I can I can like do yeah. that uh, like in my sleep. But like Adelaide, I have to really like think about and and really really um, give my all for that one to make it good because I just don't have any of the muscle memory at all. Uh, <laughs> same with like last summer. Like whenever whenever I'm performing those songs, I've performed a bunch of times. It's less, um, there's no thought really. I can kind of yeah. do whatever I'm feeling because I'm so comfortable with all of the other aspects of the song. Yeah, someone's just said you need to show some love for a piece of my heart. <laughs> That's it's a good difficult one to pick. That's a fun one. I, I'm always excited when that one comes up in the set. It's hard to choose. It is. It's so, too Johnny, for all your UK fans that are going to be watching tonight, what can have you got any surprises in store? What can what can people expect from the from the show? Hmm. Expect literally a show. It's that's the biggest surprise that I've I've, I've found that that people are um, are finding is that it's literally like a real show, except the only difference is you're in your living room or you're in your bedroom wherever. Yeah. You're, um, that's the only difference. It's completely the same. And I, I gave my all, even though there wasn't a crowd there, I gave my all. So you guys have to just uh, 
and pretend it's not awkward and it won't be awkward. <laughs> how, right, so on a scale of one to ten, how awkward was it for you essentially yeah. doing this show? I guess you do rehearsals and sound checks and stuff all yeah. the time, so you do it a lot without people there, but is that a weird feeling? No, it really wasn't. It wasn't weird. I was just kidding. Um, it was kind of like doing a TV performance. It's like yeah. shooting a music video, really. True. Your phone's going crazy. Pardon me? Your phone's going crazy. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> For some reason, usually uh, when you go on live, it like mutes the DMs, but not today for some reason. Not today. I'm getting all the group chat messages. Johnny, I love that you shared your um, how much your kind of Spotify, everyone, you know, you get your Spotify rap yeah. for artist thing and how much it's grown over the past three years is just mad. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was like to look at the numbers and see like every single one like is double than what it was last year is yeah. just it's like ridiculous it's like i don't even i can't even like put into words to describe it like honestly i don't really care about the numbers but like when mm. you see something that, like that it's just like undeniable it's like it's just crazy it's unreal thank you guys, if you guys i think watching. that's one thing that really comes across with you as well just how much of a kind of artist you are and you know you do write your own stuff you're very very invested in every kind of aspect of Thank you. what you create, aren't you? It was, yeah, I mean, I don't want things in my name that aren't like, yeah. especially, like at least approved, um, you know what I mean? So, Sorry. yeah, I, I, yeah, I like to have a handle on things. <laughs> nice, and you've said already, like, watch out 2021, you've got even bigger and better things planned. Like, how do you manage to up your game every single every time like where where do you go from here you can always go up you can you can always do more trust me so um i can't share too much nope there is a song coming early in the year that i'm very excited about very 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 excited about and all my friends okay. are but as well so get ready what That's kind of vibe can we expect? If you had to compare it to, Joe, you know we don't want to give too much away, but if you ca had to compare it to one of your songs that's already out there, which one is it most like? Adelaide. Nice. Not a bad one to not not a bad one to compare it to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So be ready. That's all I can say. We're gonna start the year off strong. God, you're not letting us have a breather, are you? You're just throwing it out no, there like... absolutely not. You guys have no time to prepare. No way. I like that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank it's you. so funny, though. It is funny. When fans, um, when we put the call out for questions, the kind of the number one question was, when can we have new music? Like, people people are needy. They're hungry, man. People that's are hungry. Whole, like, that's the whole, like, release strategy. We just want to, like... I, I've been like stockpiling songs and just like kind of getting a rough idea of what's going to happen for the next year. And then yeah. we're going to try and just like have music coming out all the time. Or like if we have to take a break, then it's going to be making music and it's going to be for uh, a larger body of work. So yeah, that's, that's the goal. I just want to be putting stuff out all the time. If you thought 2020 was busy, wait till, wait till 2021. I know, right? non-stop which is the first i mean we're not going to offend anyone here which is the first country that you want to visit after lockdown kind of after the pandemic is kind of over i guess england of course hey there we go no other answer of course england the correct answer i love you